uh, from our house, uh, we're excited uh, about uh, what we're, the venture we're, we're going to go down. Uh, I've never been more confident in the, the ability that we have. Uh, that, goes, that goes back to a lot of hard work and recruiting by my coaching staff. Uh, we've assembled three really good classes, starting with the very first year that we were able to assemble a class, and, and now we're uh, hopefully going to reap the benefits of that. Um, I could sit here as, as, as this team's head coach and be pretty confident that uh, uh, there may not be many teams. Uh, we may not win every game because that's not how baseball works, uh, but there's not many teams that we're going to look across the field and feel like we're out-talented anymore. Um, I think it's uh, uh, the big challenge for this team is, is feeling like they belong now, uh, that they belong as an upper echelon team in the SEC, that they, believe, that they belong as a ranked team in the nation, and we need to go uh, respond that way and, and play that way each and every day. It starts on the mound. Um, uh, starts with Andy Cox, who's here with us today. Uh, Andy had a special year, as special of a year of any guy returning our, on our pitching staff. Um, we slowed him down a little bit in the fall, um, had some tenderness, nothing, nothing uh, earth shattering. We just didn't want to push the envelope. He's, he's getting himself back into shape now. Uh, uh, we'll start the year. He, he's our one guy that I could sit and say he's our, a Friday guy that we have for us. Um, unfortunately for Andy, um, I'm not so sure if that Friday, when that will happen. Uh, he's our Friday guy, but he's also our most important guy. And as uh, going off a track record of last year, uh, we lost a lot of close games. That wasn't always due to pitching. Uh, that was just due to a, a team that was trying to overcome themselves and giving up leads late. And I think uh, building this pitching staff from the back to the front uh, with Andy being starting the year because of where his, uh, his uh, longevity is right now. He's just built up to two innings. He could easily go three, but we're not going to push it early. Andrew Lee, who was at the back of the bullpen last year, who's developed another pitch, a very good breaking ball, um, and has had a, had a great fall for us. And then Peter Lindstrom, who is a young man who has as good a stuff as anyone on our pitching staff, um, was hot and cold last year, but I see a, a totally, a much more mature young man in him. Those three guys are going to anchor the end of it. And the thing about those three guys is that they're interchangeable. Um, they could start on the weekend for us. Um, this weekend, um, we're going to start with Brett Marks, who's been our most consistent guy throughout the fall and since we've come back. Uh, low three-quarter arm, arm, arm angle guy that's a senior. He uh, has pitched like that for us, um, a guy that has experience. And on Saturday, we're going to go left-hander Drake Owenby, who's another young man who has performed well out of the bullpen um, in this program and uh, performed well out of the bullpen in his summer leagues. Um, he's got his body in tremendous shape and has done nothing to disappoint us um, throughout the fall and through, throughout the winter since we've been back. He's anchored down the Saturday spot for now. And then Kyle Serrano will start on Sunday. Um, so I feel with those three young men, uh, we have a formidable SEC-type rotation. 